Yo, what is up, bros? This is a Brumarati back with another full episode. This time around, we are doing Germany 1943. I thought I had already done a full episode on this, but I searched through all my playlists, all my videos. I couldn't find it, so I guess I just have a shit memory, and uh, I never did it. So anyways, to make it interesting, no added generals, just what we are given at the first. So it should make it painfully long. And uh, crank it up and let's get started by taking out the Montenator. Once Monty falls, the Allies give up. Without Monty's great plans, uh, the Allies just don't have a chance. That Market Garden be home by Christmas. So I've played this enough. You, I, I know not to even give them the opportunity to start spamming naval units. I have learned some things in time. Like when I played um, 1939 Germany, no tech level upgrades, no generals, um, and the British naval spam was out of control. Absolutely insane. Insanity. I couldn't even make it out of, um, what the hell couldn't I make it out of? I don't even remember. It took me forever just to move. The Baltic Sea, that's right. I couldn't even make it out of the Baltic Sea. The Baltic Sea was pretty much my burial for the first three episodes. So I ain't gonna let that happen again. You notice that early, early launch of Sea Lion. I mean, never mind that it's 43 early launch. Early launch as far as the game started. Trying to get this shit done. But then again, like I said, we take out money, game over. Sneak my tiger to Egypt, hopefully. Monty's holding out. I remember playing this. Cause so, I... Here's the weird thing about games, and it's, I'm sure it's true of any game, like I play this and everything's so easy except for, you know, some of the one star countries can be tricky and stuff, but then I hear you guys saying, you know, I couldn't even beat it with, say, Germany 43 or Russia 43 or 39, but I do remember playing this as Germany 43 and completely losing Africa. So I can, I can remember back to where I couldn't get stuff done. And it's weird just, you know, placing your troops a little bit differently, building the correct troop, or getting an encirclement can completely change the outcome. Especially when you're playing, most of the time, because you guys see me, I'll just... I'll pull up my unit right in between a bunch of troops, take a debuff. Usually I'm doing that when it's like a big country and, and I'm I'm not going to lose. But if I'm playing with a smaller country, I, I tend to take it a little bit more technical. Try to get people surrounded. Like I'm doing now, since I don't have generals. I mean, I'm trying to surround their generals. Uh-oh, th we had some... Yeah, we did. We had some De Gaulle movement. 
He was behind that city last time. He is coming at us. Keep an eye on D Diggle. I'm totally going to wreck him by air, but just keep an eye on him anyways. Boom! All you needed to capture Stalingrad was to have sent Model there. That'd be a lesson. And in the same turn, Leningrad falls. Nice. We busted out. Japan. Not looking too bad, bro. Keep it up. Invade the West Coast. Like, if I was playing against you. If I was an ally right now, you'd probably already have the West Coast taken over. Yep, we did definitely see De Gaulle moving. He's coming at us. And he ain't stopping for shit. Except for when he's dead. Rip De Gaulle. F in the chat. But, Monty lives on. Oh, we got him. Damn near. I thought that last hit was going to take him out. Shows what I know. Such an amateur at this game. Rokoskowski has come off of Moscow. And... Obviously, it's it's the Walmart version. All these generals are Walmart version now, even my own. I don't got the Gucci generals. People making fun of my one medal at the start screen. Yeah, I've got one medal. I've got one freaking lousy medal to my name. And I have had for probably a month now. Well, since I bought um, Montgomery... I have a dream, you know, just like anybody else, I have a dream that I had a bunch of medals and could buy De Gaulle. I mean, it's everybody's dream to be able to buy De Gaulle. I wish I could. Sure would be nice to have De Gaulle. I say to myself on many occasions. When I'm playing with Lieb or Koniv and I'm just like, God, these artillery generals suck. If only I had De Gaulle, things would be different. You know, the main thing about that is just to hold on to your dreams. Don't give up on them. Someday I might have enough medals. Alright, we we can about uh, launch our attack on Moscow. We are getting close. Shit, we'll have London here pretty soon. Okay, so the start of this has been pretty good. I'm happy with the start. We have incoming American troops. Now, when I play allies, right, uh, and I, I'm Russia, uh, Yamashita comes up there and just absolutely wrecks me. Here, you know, when I'm allied with Yamashita, he goes up there and plays with his poop. I don't know what the hell's going on. Could possibly get London here, maybe? Nope. Runestead's too weak. My Runestead would have been able to do it. V2, boom, London falls.
Well, besides the Egyptian general, they are generalless now. I'm gonna go ahead and send my tank generals to the US. Cherry hit on Moscow. You know what I just thought? There's no Lieb for uh, Manstein. What the hell's going on with that? All right, so London has fallen. Um, I'm not too worried about. I think I'll just I'll just take the rest with missile technologies. This is like the V. They're on v, like the V3 right now. It's got a little bit more accuracy. Still doesn't have you know some huge distance. Better, better distance, better accuracy. There you go. Oh, I forgot about Brazil. Not Brazil and Mexico to take out. I don't know what I was thinking. I for I'd forgot about both of those. Now I remember why I hate playing Axis in 43. Japan not doing shit. Did any of us expect any different? Day 9. Pretty good day 9 we're in Moscow. Stalingrad's fallen, Leningrad's fallen. Moscow has fallen. Boom! Moving on. Linking up with our Japanese bros. We gotta soften up the Atlantic to get my generals across there. I don't know um, how well the landing is going to go, considering we've got Walmart versions of generals. Can't you just just leave Modell alone? Modell's just a little happy German general out trying to do what the fear tells him. Getting harassed by Soviet generals. I can tell you this, with no generals, once we finally get to HQ7, we are going to release the most massive of volley of V. Probably by that time, we're looking at V4s or 5s. Japan. Um, sure, she'd help me out more.
There we go. Not too much left. An open Atlantic for my generals to get across. I mean... We could throw down a massive air campaign and go ahead and take out Africa. I mean, there's not even that much left. Boom! France goes down. All right, Africa has been cleared. Middle East cleared, boom, Egypt goes down, missed drop, thank you. Garing was drunk on ho-hos and ding-dongs. Get your navy out of here, it's no match for the German navy. Get your inferior navy out of German territorial waters. See, this is when I start questioning doing something with no generals. And then you bros are like, hey, do some small ass country with no generals. I mean, yeah, I could do it, but it takes too damn long. All right, we are getting harassed now. What happened to the nice open Atlantic? I'm sick of you, bro. You're out of here. Now we got incoming Brazilian troops. Round 15. I hate New Delhi. It's uh, too... It has way too much health. And if you can't upgrade the airfields around it, you can only bomb it and it takes forever. Uh-oh. I better do something. Spam some artillery. Pretty sure my Guderian would have just one-shotted that. Okay. Not too much of the Soviet Union left. Rommel is as good as dead, I'm pretty sure. We might have to end up doing this from the other side. Day 17.
Oh, my Mongolians get wrecked. Rip Rommel. He just did not make it. Freaking Bradley and Deavers comes out. Bunch of crap. Twenty minutes in. We've got a ways to go. Especially on New Delhi. Look at that industrial and technologies though. Once we grab missile technologies, we are absolutely going to wreck. Day 19. Amazing for day 19 to already be attacking Chong King. We must have put. I don't know what to put. That's some crazy ass German technology they stole from the Black Forest aliens to make their tanks super fast. Boom! ROC goes down. This kind of low-key reminds me of World Conqueror 3. Right now doing this with no generals. I don't know how many bros stayed around since the days of World Conqueror 3. But the huge super heavy spam from Europe to the East Coast. Spamming super heavies out of London and Paris. And Madrid, if it was on uh, later years. Just a huge line stretching all across the Atlantic. Two or three rows. Frickin' Deavers. Let me help you out there a little bit. Boom! The UK goes down. A little bit pissed off it wasn't under my command. We lucked out here though. Being able to take that city so we can attack Australia. I was afraid I was going to get screwed by the Japanese. I don't think this um, artillery crap's gonna work. I have zero faith. This, however, uh, we can go through, and this is probably what I should have done in, in the very beginning go through Brazil. And then that airfield will reach up into Cuba. And then from Cuba, we can reach up into the US. But I've been spending a bunch of my money elsewhere, so I don't know. Maybe I couldn't have done it. We're gonna do it now, though. See, I'd already loosened up the city. I, I did something. With that bit of parachute spam I kept using.
day 23. New Delhi finally falls. I'll uh, probably wait till I get missile technologies for Australia. So yeah, we can grab Houston from Miami and we've got 85 missiles to lay down. It is going to be, in the words of the great Brumanovskivich, a godforsaken bloodbath. Boom! India goes down. Hi, Guderian. Guderian's going to be a boy taken back to capture Japanese territory. We are getting close to level 7. Maybe next round, maybe two, no more than two. 93, well, it's not exactly 93, but, oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it will be, noise. The glorious day, the Germany got their vengeance weapons manufacturing out of Houston. Boom! Cuba goes down. Nice. See, we could have done it from right here. The East Coast invasion was not completely worthless. Nope. No level 7. Boom! Soviet Union goes down. Boom! Devers goes down. Gotta protect against Bradley. The goat of goats. Okay, 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 okay. So... Next round will be level seven. Maybe take out Australia. The Mexican army is landing in Japan. Kudarian storms into Japan, helps out his bros. Then we blew through our industrial quick. Alright, we should be able to reach everything. I'm going to get this whole thing done, invest all this time, all the rendering time, the small amount of editing time, the upload time, I'm going to get it uploaded, you guys are going to click on it and be like, um, your, your full version of Germany 43 is right here, giving me a link to it. I will be pissed. You know what, I just did that uh, last weekend. 
I actually did do something like that. Um, and it, I was pretty pissed off. It wasted so much time. I played Yugoslavia. Well, most of you bros probably know that I just played Yugoslavia like, I don't know, a month and a half ago. Yeah, I played it again for some reason. I didn't do all the edit or the rendering or editing and that crap, but it was still a, a decent waste of time. And that was right in the full. Boom! Brazil goes down the full episode playlist too. I don't. I didn't even look. It just seemed like a good idea. Boom! Australia goes down. Canada lives on. Bradley still lives on. We're getting close, bros. The end is near. No general. Boom! Mexico goes down. And Canada has went crazy. You know, I remember early on, uh, like there was two Canadian units coming and I didn't do anything about it. Yeah, that must have been what was going on. Anyways, rip Canada. We are so, so close. And that could possibly be it. Look at that territorial expansion. Just, just take another look. Just a, not a nice slow look. German imp. Ah, oh, damn it. Boom! Victory! 31 rounds, no generals. Germany 19 of 43. Bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace! Bruminati, out.